In this video, I want to talk about simplifying log and exponential expressions. Now that we know some exponential functions and their inverses, we can apply the forward and backwards compositions to work out a few properties of logs and exponentials. We know the following inverse pairs. Now, when I say the word something in the sets of inverses below, that's just a set of parentheses, left paren, space, right paren. Here are the inverse pairs I know. Log of something is the inverse of 10 to the something. When we perform a composition of that function with its inverse, we would have something like log of 10 to the x. And that should come out to just be x because we've done a function composed with this inverse. Likewise, if we do it in reverse, we would have 10 to the log of x, and that would also be x. So those are known as the composition or inverse properties. The next pair is ln of something is the inverse of e to the something. In this case, the composition properties would be ln of, in parentheses, e to the x, close the parentheses, equals x, and e to the ln x equals x. The third one we do with a generic base b. So log base b of something is the inverse of b to the something. When we compose those two functions, we get log base b of b to the x, that's b to the x in parentheses, and that equals x. And then the other composition would be b raised to the log base b of x equals x. Now, let me just walk through that last one with an actual number in it to make sure you understand it. So for example, log base 5 of something is the inverse of 5 to the something. This gives us the properties log base 5 of left paren 5 to the x right paren equals x and 5 raised to the log base 5 of x equals x. Now using these properties we should be able to simplify all sorts of expressions involving logs and exponentials. The most important thing is to make sure that the base of the log and the base of the exponential match. If they don't match you're not going to get simplification there. Let's try a few. Let's start with the expression log of 10 to the fifth log has a base 10 and the exponential part is 10 to the fifth. So we have a match between the log base 10 and the 10 to the fifth, which means that we should get simplification out of this using the rule log of 10 to the x equals x. This should just be log of 10 to the fifth equals five. The next expression is log of 1000. Log has a base of 10, but 1000 is not base 10, it's 1000. Could we rewrite it with a base of 10? We sure could, so let's do that. Let's rewrite this as log of 10 cubed, since 1000 is 10 cubed. And now we have a log that's base 10 and a 10 in the base of the exponential. So again, we can apply log of 10 to the x equals x and say that log of 10 to the third is three. Our next expression is log of two to the third. Log is a base 10 and two to the third has a base of two. Those are not matching bases. And even if we write two to the third as eight, if we rewrite this as log of eight. My log has a base of 10 and eight is not a matching base. So I'm just gonna write stop. There is no simplification that we can do here. The next expression is natural log of e to the second. Well, natural log is a log base e and e to the second also has a base of e. So we could use the rule ln of e to the x equals x, and here we have ln of e squared, so this should just be two, perfect. The next expression is natural log of the square root of e. Now, natural log is a base e, but the square root of e isn't quite in the right form. Let's try rewriting it as natural log of e to the one half since the square root of e is the same thing as e to the one half. Now we have natural log, which is a base e, and e to the one half, which is also a base e. So we should be able to apply ln of e to the x equals x, and ln of e to the one half is equal to one half. Next, we have log base two of two to the fourth. Well, the log has a base of two on it, and two to the fourth also has a base of two on it, so those match. We can use log base b of b to the x equals x. Here we have log base two of two to the fourth equals four. The next expression is log base two of 10. Log base two is base two, and 10 is base 10. 
and those do not match. And the only thing we could rewrite 10 as would be 10 to the first, and that's still not going to match. So if these don't match, we have to just tell ourselves to stop. There's nothing to simplify there. How about log base 5 of 25? Well, log base 5 is base 5, and 25 doesn't match base 5 but we could rewrite it. So let's do that. Let's write this as log base five of five squared. And now log base five has a base five and five squared has a base five. We apply log base b of b to the x equals x and log base five of five squared equals two. Let's try something a little different now. The next expression is e to the ln three. The base of the exponential is e and the base of the natural log in the exponent is also e, because natural log is a log base e. So now we can apply the rule e to the ln x equals x. Here we have e to the ln 3 equals 3. The next expression is 2 to the log base 2 of x. In this case, the base of the exponential is 2, and the base of the logarithm is 2. So we should be able to apply b to the log base b of x is x. In this case, 2 to the log base 2 of x is x. The next expression is 3 to the log x. The base of the exponential part is 3, and the base of the log x is 10. Those are not matching bases, and there's no way we can rewrite 3 or x to make it anything else. So in this case, we're just going to remind ourselves to stop. The final expression is 10 to the log 3. The base on the exponential is 10. The base on the log is also 10. So these are matching bases. So we should be able to apply 10 to the log x equals x. In this case, 10 to the log 3 equals 3. All right, now it is your turn. I want you to go ahead and try these without using technology. When you're done, if you do get a number out, go ahead and try it with Desmos afterwards, but do give them a try yourself first. Okay, we're back. Let's see how you did. In the first expression, we have 10 to the log of left paren x minus 2 right paren. 10 to the has a base of 10, and log also has a base of 10. So we should be able to apply 10 to the log x equals x. In this case, 10 to the log of x minus 2 equals x minus 2. The next expression is natural log of e to the 4 fifths power. Natural log is base e, and e to the 4 fifths also has a base of e. So we should be able to apply ln of e to the x equals x. In this case, ln of e to the 4 fifths equals 4 fifths. In the next expression, we have log of e to the fifth. Log has a base of 10, and e to the fifth has a base of e. And those are not matching bases. And because they're not matching bases, and we can't rewrite e to the fifth with a base of 10, we need to remind ourselves here to just stop. There's nothing we can do to simplify this. The next expression is 8 log square root of 10. Log has a base of 10. And square root of 10 is suspiciously close to that, but not quite written correctly. So let's rewrite this. The 8 is just a multiple in front, so let's just leave 8 in front. We'll just write 8 and then a times dot. And then we'll have log of 10 to the 1 half power, because 10 to the 1 half power is the same as square root of 10. Now we have a log, which is base 10, and a 10 to the 1 half, which is also base 10. So those should simplify, and we'll be left with 8 times the simplification of log 10 to the x is x, so the simplification of log 10 to the 1 half is 1 half. 8 times 1 half is 4. The next expression is 2 raised to the log base 2 of y. The base on the exponential part is 2, and the base on the log part is 2. So we can use that rule b to the log base b of x is x. Here, 2 to the log base 2 of y is y. Next, we have natural log of 1,000. Natural log has a base e. 1,000 isn't written with a base, but if we were going to write it with a base, it would be a base of 10. Those don't match. So here we have to remind ourselves to just stop. Don't try to simplify. Finally, the expression log of 1 over 100. Log is a base 10, and it sure seems like there's got to be a way to rewrite 1 over 100 as base 10 as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's rewrite as log of 10 
to the negative second power because 10 to the negative second is one over 10 squared, which is one over 100. Now we have a log, which is base 10 and a 10 to the, so those are matching bases. And so we can apply the rule log of 10 to the x equals x. In this case, log of 10 to the negative second equals negative two. The most important thing about simplifying these log and exponential expressions is that you have to remember that the base of the exponential and the log must match for simplification to occur.